Okay. Um, I will continue a little with this uh, bar sheet idea of mine. I've worked uh, some more with it and I find it even more interesting. So I will just show a couple of things. Um, I'll go here. I have stored some bar sheet models I made. <coughs> So here's one I call it the timer. You can add it to the timeline. We can have a look at it. It has uh, a couple of pegs, uh, just a main or master peg here for the whole thing. It has some non-moving uh, elements like a swapping layer for swapping drawings. And that's not moving, it's just for swapping. And the marker, time marker, that's just standing still in the middle of the of the camera window. And then I put a peg to it, and that peg is dragging along uh, through the, the camera window, a bar sheet with the numbered bars uh, that will occur every one second, uh, passing through the uh, time marker. And then a music notation layer, you can add in music notation here on top of the bar sheet. The bar sheet, bar sheet has the bar and the, and the lines for the, the notation. And you have a thumb uh, that will follow so that you put in small thumbs to remind yourself of, of uh, poses and, and, and situations you, and, and the timing for them. And you have some red marks, typical director's uh, mark or your own red marks that will, uh, you can kind of note what is really important or what you want to change here. All of these layers are put on one drawing extender for the, for the whole duration. And this is a 1008 frame or 42 second long uh, thing. Uh, I made it that long so that you can... I, I, I just took a value and, and found that it seems like this value, it, the timer works perfect and, and uh, as far as I can see and, and you need some length but wouldn't make it too long so that, uh, of course, it would be nice to have about five minutes so you could put the whole music video in here, but I think that will be too heavy, at least for my, my uh, MacBook Pro here. So, excuse me. Okay, so we go in and put some more stuff in here. We collapse this main peg for the timer, and we add, for instance, a metronome in here and uh, we can move this this uh, drawing we don't need that uh, we can play that excuse me see so we put in the so we can see uh, as a sound column we can see the waveform here for the for the metronome going for each second we just have to enable sound and enable sound scrubbings to make this work. We play it. And now it starts to be a nice timing uh, thing, eh? Okay. So if we want to see, this numbers the bars. And I started that on zero, just like that's nothing and that's counted one second or one bar just to be make this area here clear this is the first area it's not a zero area it's the first area like the first century or the first year you live and this is when you become one year so i put also a kind of numbering in here Oops, it does not want to enter. Not really sure why. We try again. Ah, I just grabbed it by the wrong place. So, when we put this one in, you see, 
now we know which bar area we are into. So this is not to compete with the timeline. The timeline you can have see each frame, same for the for the X sheet also up here you can see exactly what frame you're in. This is to do a bit more, it's between, this is the timing, between the actual fine tuning of each frame and the, the storyboard. So this is for planning the scene planner for each board kind of, or each scene for animation, not for the story. The story you have planned before this, this is the planning, the timing, the fine tuning of the animation. I started this work because I saw that it was some trades people trying to figure out a good new ways to do this. If this is a good way, I don't know, but I got quite excited about it. So that's why I'm making this video. So we save this for now and we go in and open another file. Just to show I did some work uh, yesterday here in uh, with this system. Uh, it's not really a work, it's just to, to try out. I not really worked here, uh, just a little. I did some cell swapping, some thumbnailing, and I imported some scenes, and, and it was really nice to import scenes with a command, and then place it exactly on the frames, fine-tune the timing with the metronome. It was I kind of start to believe in this this system, so we play off this one and and uh, see how it looks. So a thumbnail there, just to remind uh, something happening there. Coming in, going out, coming in. These are clips just taken from the library put in there and very simple to fine tune it, to move the whole clip and to fine tune it. Okay, so that was how it works uh, like that. Maybe we go back now to the, the, the other project we just were inside, uh, just to see how you actually work in this sheet. Let's see. We are here. I think now I will change this to the, to the drawing view and keep this one over here uh, in the camera view so that you can view the metronome over here and here you can in fact work. So we need a little more timeline and let's uh, see we open this up uh, we want to have uh, to mark on the layer that follow the bar sheet to make some entrance point. Uh, and to do that, first, here we have the peg that moves the bar sheet. So underneath here we can add more layers, like above the red marks for instance. I want to add the layer. I go up here, I add a drawing layer. I start to work on this one and it will add in where we are, in the place we are. So the important thing here is to remember to prolong this for the whole duration. So we just put in something, whatever. We go to the end and um, where is my exposure? There. Okay. Excuse me, we make a new try. Extend the exposure. There we are. Hmm. 
it's not working today. This is not what should extend exposure. Ah, there it works. I must have been shaky on my hand. Maybe I'm a bit excited when I'm working here now. So let's see. Uh, we go back to the first frame or wherever we want to be. Now we take the marker, we move up. Where do we want to be? We want to be here. We go to the camera frame. We are up here. We put in, let's say, we want to go in here with the person standing straight up and down. Maybe arms a little out as ready for something. Okay. I, I don't know what to make yet. This is not planned at all. <laughs> uh, we found out we want that figure to stay for, let's say, two seconds. About two seconds. We want it in exactly there. And we want it to stay for about two seconds. So, excuse me. Take it one more time. And move it out like that. And so we have it here. That will be frame 84, or we see about the middle. That's the nice thing here. You don't have to be exact. This distance here is about three frames. This distance from here to here is six frames. So the outside of this goes up four times inside this. This is like a music sheet. It's 4-4. Four, four. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And this is, you see here, you will be quite precise here. You can be quite precise here. It's really... Without being totally precise, but we say it's there. And you see, it's about the middle. So we just go up to four and a half, five and a half. We bring this small tool with us. Oh, that should be about there. Ah, that's that's good enough for this for this uh, rough timing. So this is for the rough timing of something so this is I just hold this here. Maybe okay, that I think that's enough. We then this 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 goes or maybe oops. And with the oops maybe a little bit up, okay, little up. Whoops, whoops. Head, whoops, a little bit up, okay. And we continue to something else, I don't know. And then the director comes and sees it, and this is not the thing the person wants at all. Okay, we go out here, so it's time, place for, for, for uh, the director, we choose a red pen of course. Here's some people, some people never <laughs> use the black or the gray. <laughs> Just joking. So, uh, we, we find out, no, this has to last much longer. So the director goes in and says, no, this input is to here. Hold plus. Okay. So that's for the red. The kind of, it's corrections, things like that. Then we have the thumb here, as we have already uh, used, and this music notation, I had a big problem. I really tried yesterday with all kinds of ways to import music notation in here, 
in a nice way but uh, that graphic was harder than text in a way I, I don't know why so I had to, to work uh, more on that uh, of course you can write in the, the lyrics of a song whatever here really for tiny so I believe in this system uh, I will try to, to develop it a bit more if I have the patience. Okay, see you.